Of an Empower BI, you have a line chart with overlapping lines and you want to avoid this happening where I want the prominent Cambodia and Thailand to be above everything else. Now, here I can see that Thailand is mostly pretty good, but Cambodia is not. So I can, in the newer versions of Power BI, fix that. And I'm going to show you how to make it look like this. My name is David Benheim, and I have tons of videos on my channel about Excel, Power BI, PowerPoint, Google Sheets, Teams, Power Query. If you're using tech of the workplace, then I'm covering it on my channel. So subscribe if you want weekly videos on that kind of content. So um, let's see how this works. So a recent addition to the features of Power BI Desktop allows you to sort the legend. Now, if you look at the legend up here, you'll pretty much get what that's doing. It is changing the order here. But now look at what's happening here. So before I had Cambodia overlapped on most of them, but now I have it only overlapped on this one. Let's have a look at that again. So over here, pay attention to that. It's switched where it overlaps. So what goes on in the way the legend is sorted changes the way these series are sorted. By the way, this is also a really cool trick to have, instead of the legend, have these series labels they're called. To get those, also a fairly new version, click on the format pane and turn on series labels like that. So let's go through how to do that. Now I'm going to need to open up my Power Query Editor. So edit queries here. And in country table, I'm going to add a column for an index column, but I'm going to choose custom. I need to say start from three and increment of one. You'll see why in a little bit. Next, I'm going to choose a conditional column. I'm going to say this is the country sort order. If country equals Thailand, then I'm going to say two. Add clause. If country equals Cambodia, then one. Else, select a column, index. It's now got one, two, three. So I, I start at one, I don't start at three. Mind you, you didn't have to do that. You could have you could have had any number. It could be a negative number if you want and a zero. And then here, for good practice, I usually make this a whole number, but you don't have to if you don't want to. So next we can delete the index column. It doesn't provide us with anything, but we need to keep this one. I'm going to close and apply. So that's loaded now. And the last step of what I need to do is I need to sort it in the right way. So I'm going to go to, it's easier to do it from this view. You can see what's happening better. If I go to the country column here, I can choose to sort that by the country sort order that we just made. I had this one that I created to show you how that works. And now you can see, well, it's put them at the top, but they're at the back here. So now we need to just go sort legend descending. And ironically, they come up at the bottom here, but they're at the top here. So this is exactly how we want to get it done. The same can work if you have values. So I quite like this kind of setup where you have the series, which could be the categorical thing, and then a dash, and then the number that it represents at the end. So Again, you can do that by going to series labels and you can get them to show up above as well in the same trick. Note that I needed to create a calculated column here, which combines the country column with a rounded version of the measure, which in this case is COVID booster doses. And then I added the percent there. So this is a really good way to visualize your line charts and you can customize which ones go on top and behind. So if you liked that video, then my name was David Benheim and I have tons of videos that I make every week on Power BI, Google Sheets, Teams, Zoom, absolutely any tech you're using at the workplace, I'm covering it on my channel. So subscribe if you want more information. Finally, if you want this file, then leave a comment underneath and subscribe to my channel and then I can send this to you so you can have a look at it.